In this session, we are discussing semaphore under the topic process synchronization. Semaphore is nothing but a synchronization tool. Semaphore is nothing but a synchronization tool with the help of which we can ensure that a critical section can be accessed by the processes in a mutually exclusive way. So, processes will try to enter into a critical section. So, this particular synchronization tool semaphore will ensure that at a time only one process can enter into the critical section in a mutually exclusive way. If you want to go into the details actually semaphore is nothing but an integer variable. Okay. So, on a semaphore we can perform two atomic operations one is weight and the one is a signal. What is the meaning of this term atomic operation? Atomic means the operation either the full code will get executed on that particular uh, semaphore variable or will not get executed. That means, partial execution of the weight code or say uh, signal code will not be executed. Partial execution will not be there either they will be executed totally or not at all. If you are not clear with this particular statement let, let us discuss this particular one. So, weight and signal they are nothing but some operations on this semaphore variable let it be s. So, say on this in this way I am having statements like this. So, if I tell that weight is operation is occurring on the semaphore variable s then all this code will get executed partial execution of this code is not possible. So, that is why this weight and signal should be called as an atomic operation. Now, what is the purpose of weight? It is telling that if the semaphore value is 0 or less than 0 while s is less than equal to 0 do no operation it is while it is not if that means until this s is becoming not equal to 0 or more than 0 until it is becoming that this no operation will take place that means it will go for an infinite loop when s will be positive and non zero then only it will come to the next line which will make s is equal to s minus 1 let me explain it again while s is less than equal to 0 do no operation that means whenever the value of s is 0 or less than 0 when it will remain that it will go for doing this infinite looping until and unless s is becoming non zero positive and when it is becoming non zero positive then it is coming here and s is equal to s minus 1 will be the next instruction to be executed on the semaphore variable s in this weight operation. In the signal operation a very simple statement it will just increment the value of s by 1. So, these two are the atomic operations we are having. You might be asking me what is the use of that. Okay, I am just discussing that one with some example. Before that this is the code which we have written in the previous in the previous example here we wrote in the previous section here we wrote that a weight was there as entry section and signal was there as exit section, but that weight and signal these two atomic operations have replaced this entry section and exit section respectively. So, let me explain it further. Let us suppose initially that is one same of a variable which is mutex actually it is a short form of mutual exclusion. Let us suppose a process can enter into this critical section when the weight is when, when the weight will have its completion not falling an infinite loop. Let us suppose initially mutex is equal to 0. So, what is the mutex? It is nothing but one semaphore variable and I told you that this semaphore variable is nothing but one integer quantity. So, mutex is equal to 0. So, when mutex is equal to 0 in case of weight it is executing this code while mutex is less than equal to 0 the condition is true do no operation. So, it will go on looping in this way. So, the process cannot enter into the critical section. Let us suppose at that time the critical section was occupied by another process let it be P2. So, when that process will complete its execution in the critical section when that process P2 will come out from the uh, critical section then it will execute signal mutex. So, in that case the mutex value will get incremented by 1. So, when it will leave or exit from the critical section and when it will find itself in the remainder section that process P2 it will make mutex is equal to 1 
and it will make mu x is equal to 1. So, as a result of that what will happen? As a result of that the, the next process which, which I was discussing let it be p 1 which was waiting at mu, uh, wait mu x because this particular s at that time mu x was 0. So, now the mu x x value got 1. So, this condition will become false. So, it will come out from the from this while body and then the mu x is equal to mu x minus 1 will get executed. So, now it will come into the critical section the process will have its execution again when it will be leaving p 1 will be leaving p 1 will again again make mu x is equal to mu x plus 1 in the operation signal mu x. So, what will happen another process can go and entry into the critical section. In this way you see the previous diagram I have updated this one. So, entry section has been updated by weight mu x and this exit section has been updated by signal mu x. So, let us go for another very small example. Let us suppose we are having one process say p 1 and say another process say p 2. This p 1 is having a code like statement 1. So, p 1 is having a code like statement 1 and signal mu x and p 2 is having a code like. So, p 2 is having a code like weight mu x and statement 2. What is mu x? Mu x is nothing but one synchronization variable mutual exclusion. Okay. Now, I want p 1 should execute at first then p 2. Let us suppose p 1 is the washing process and p 2 is the drying process of clothes. So, washing process should come at first then drying process will come. So, that is my analogy. Okay. But let us suppose p 2 has arrived at first. Okay. Now, another thing is that initially the mutex value is 0. Initially the value of mutex is 0. Okay. I was having the requirement to have execution of p 1 earlier than p 2. Good. Now, say mu x is equal to 0 and p 2 has arrived before p 1. Then p 2 is having weight mu x. So, now while mu x is less than equal to 0. So, it is true do no operation. So, this particular p 2 will get blocked here it will fall an infinite loop. Why? Because the condition is true while body. So, after some time p 1 has come. So, p 1 has nothing to do before executing statement 1. So, what about the statements written in statement 1 they will get executed. Now, at the end it is doing signal mu x. So, the mu x value has become incremented by 1. So, now it has become 1. So, now what will happen? p 2 was waiting in the wet mu x statement. So, now mu x is less than equal to 0 is false because it has become 1. So, do no operation cannot get the execution. So, it will come out it will make mu x is equal to mu x minus 1. So, it will make that one 0 and it will execute the statement 2. So, as a result of that p 1 will always execute prior to p 2 there is no other alternative. In this way using this particular weight and signal to atomic operations on the synchronization variable on the synchronization tool semaphore we can establish synchronization that means the execution order execution sequence between multiple cooperating concurrent processes. I think you are getting the logic and in the next videos we will be discussing more on this process synchronization. Thanks for watching this video.